Hey there, welcome to the second part of the modeling part, where we are going to work with the geometries and add details like the head, the eyes, the nose, well not the nose, small mouth, and also the hair. We'll be also adding little flowers to the hair. So, first of all, we are going to select the head and check if it has an appropriate size. Okay, so we just need to play around with the size and adjust it. Now let's create a an sphere and scale it to make the eyes. That's it, it's very simple, right? So now when it's small enough, okay, and place it in the correct position, like this, okay? More or less like that. And now what? That is a symmetry. So let's do it and place the object inside it. How are we going to do the mouth? We are going to add a capsule, quite small. So here we have it and we are going to rotate it. And then we are going to make it very small. Once it's done, we are going to place it in the face. There, more or less. Guys, keep adjusting if you need it. Well, regarding the eyebrows, we are going to use a cube and do something similar to what we did with the arm. Thus, scale the cube and set the axis, the axis X at four segments, so that it's divided in four parts. And now make it editable. Then we are going to select the points and adjust them to create this curve like this or this kind of arc. That's it. Okay. Let's move it down and this one up. Okay, let's add a subdivision surface to this object. Okay, and now we're going to do the eyebrows smaller and place it in the face. So guys, once it's placed, adjust it until it gets the result you want. Okay, in case this happens in the ends of the eyebrow, what we we'll need to do is modify the geometry by selecting the points. We can select them with the rectangle selection or with the last selection, wherever you prefer. You need to select and modify these points to adjust the shape. That's it. And now we're going to apply a symmetry to the object. Okay, like that. Guys, remember that we can move objects easily. So for the years, we are going to use a cube and we are going to do it smaller and narrower. After that, select straight away the subdivision surface option. So the shape we got is closer to the result we are looking for. Now we're going to make it wider. Perfect. Also, if we increase these parameters, we'll see that the shape changes. So set all of them at one. Okay, and now reduce the size. For the moment, we are going to leave it here until the hair is done so that we can adjust it properly. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do a symmetry and insert the ear inside it. Perfect. For the hair, we are going to do the following. 
First, select the head and increase the number of subdivisions to 25. Then, by pressing Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V, we are going to duplicate the sphere. Now, we are going to hide the previous sphere and keep the one we just created visible. We hide it with this option over here, which means it won't appear in the editor nor the final render. Guys, let's go to the sphere we just created and make it editable. And now what? Well, click on Leaf Selection and select all the polygons that will make up the hair. So, select this, this other as well. OK, perfect. So, the area where the hair will be must be in yellow. Like that. Great. Okay, also select this area behind the ears. Perfect. Okay, also this part over here. Perfect. Well, guys, when all the polygons are selected, right click and press disconnect. What is this for? If you click on drag, you'll see that the selected area is disconnected and thus we can separate it from the head. So put this part aside and go here and select Rectangle Selection. Then in the Point mode, select all these elements. Remember to hold down Shift to select this and then press Delete to remove all the elements that don't belong to the hair. OK, let me show you a trick. Go to Simulate, Clothes, and then press Clothes Surface. Then insert the sphere, it is the hair inside the cloth surface label. Select Clothes Surface, and in the panel below, let's change the thickness. We can set it, for example, at 4 or 5. After that, we'll select, we need to make visible the previous sphere. Great. We can see the head now, right? What we are going to do now is move the hair towards the head and place it where it should be. Let's make it smaller to adjust it. Obviously, what we have to do is create a kind of bun, which is very characteristic of Frida. How are we going to do it? Well. OK, click on the sphere of the hair and we are going to do a leaf selection. But before, make sure that the Make Editable mode is on in the Cloth Surface level. To do it, select Cloth Surface and click on Make Editable. This way we are making the object editable. OK, well, wait. OK, perfect. And now we are able to select the polygons. See? Let's change the view and opt for a perspective that allows us to work more comfortably. So, we're going to do a selection where the band will be. You can select this area freely. It's up to you how many polygons you want to select and depending on the way you select it, we are going to extrude it in a way or another. In my case, I'm going to try to extrude these polygons I've selected. I insist that it can be done in different ways. So right click, extrude, and then move it upwards. OK, now we're going to select is all these edges and with the ring selection tool. Then I'll go to the panel I have here on the right and click on connect points, edges, to insert this kind of lines or cut. If we click again, we'll do another cut. Great, we are going to add a subdivision surface to the bun. Go here and that's it. OK. So go to subdivision surface and for the moment, let's reduce the subdivision editor to one.
So now we need just to improve the bun and we also want it to have more volume. So we are going to make it bigger like this, increase the volume. And we are also going to do the same with the part in the middle. So select it and then extrude it outside. This way we'll be adding volume to the bun. Okay, so our head is done and we just need to keep working a little bit with the hair. Okay, let's see. So we just need to select and modify those parts we need that need to be modified a little bit, like this part over here. Okay. Also the part of the back little bit. So select the polygons and then move it downwards like that. Perfect. Okay, what else do we need to do? There are some missing details we need to add to the head. So we're going to create another sphere and make it smaller like that. Then we are going to move it and place it next to the bun. Once there, we'll need to modify the size to make it suitable for what we want to get. This sphere will be part of a kind of hair band that goes around the bun, so it can't be very big. Now we are going to insert the sphere inside this option you see here called Array. Move the sphere so that it's inside this option and immediately you'll see some spheres around our figure that will that we can edit by tweaking the options in the panel on the right. So we can modify the size and the segments and also how close or far away are these spheres. It is, we can decide the distance between them. Let's place it over here, kind of, and then rotate it. Now we're going to increase the radius and also the number of copies to, for instance, 13. Okay, then move it so that it's around the bun. If we need it, we can reduce the number of, co of copies and also the radius to get a, a result similar to this. We want these spheres to be a kind of hair band that goes around the bun, right? So this is what we are looking for. Okay, now I'm going to select this and move them upwards to add volume. What else? Oh yes, the earrings. How are we going to do them? Pretty easy. We're going to use the Taurus tool for them. That's it. Reduce the size, move it and rotate so that it has a vertical position. Then we'll move it and adjust it to this little ear we just created. Make sure it's properly adjusted to the ear so it seems like a real earring, right? You can also make it smaller with these parameters over here. And we can also reduce the number of subdivisions of pipe segments and ring, seg ring segments, okay? Can you see what happens? You'll see that by changing these parameters, we'll get a less round shape. Okay, let's set them at 40 and 18. Okay, once we've placed the object, we are going to do a symmetry and place the tarus inside this label so that the copy appears in the other ear. Remember that with this option, when we tweak and adjust one of them, 
the changes are automatically applied to the other one. That is what symmetry is for, right? So guys, keep adjusting us until it's done. So we're going to leave it here and in the next lesson of the course we'll be adding more details like the hair and the necklace and so on. So guys, see you in the next lesson.